Welcome to English Classes Online where English learning is made easy. Kindly subscribe to our channel. Like and share our videos with your friends and relations. Remember to click on the bell icon for notification whenever a new video goes live on the channel. English Classes Online is an educational channel. Here, English learning is simplified. We teach everything English. This is where literature and English is made easy. We simplify literary analysis and make literary appreciation a fun thing. This is also where content creation is made easy. We show you how to use the English language as a tool for creating content and for creating income for yourself. You are welcome to our channel rest assured that our classes are always informative, educated, and exciting. Let's dive into this lesson right away. This is Benjamin from English Classes Online. Today we are going to look at words associated with advertising. Let's jump into it right away. First, the lesson objectives. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to do the following. One, define advertising. Two, explain words associated with advertising. Uh, that is the advertising vocabulary. And number three, read a passage on advertising and fill the numbered gaps with the most suitable words. Let's begin with the first item, what is advertising? Advertising is a marketing approach that involves paying for space or time to promote a product, service, or cause. The actual promotional messages are called advertisements or ads for short. Therefore, advertising is the activity or profession of producing advertisements for commercial products or services. The goal of advertising is to reach people most likely to be willing to pay for a company's products or services and entice or persuade them to buy. That's the aim of advertising. Now, let's look at the advertising vocabulary. This is taken, this list is taken from the English club uh, you can access the English Club uh, through this web address. Okay. Now, number one, ad. Ad is the abbreviation for advertisements. Then, advertisement is item of publicity for a product or service in a magazine, on television, on radio, and so on. Then advertising agency is a company specializing in producing and placing advertisements for clients. If you want uh, an agency that will run, handle your ad ads, then you can consult an advertising, advertising agency place. Then AIDA, A-I-D-A is the abbreviation that uh, standing for attention, interest, desire, and action. Yeah, and that actually is the objective of all advertisements. Then benefit is the advantage of a product, the advantage or the benefit derivable from a product or service, all right? Usually the benefits are derived from the features. Then billboard, uh, is a signboard usually outdoors for advertising, posters, and so on. UK talks about hoarding. Circulation is a term that refers to the average number of copies of a magazine sold in a particular period. That's circulation. In newspaper and magazine houses, you have the circulation department you know then classified ads refer to small advertisements in magazine in magazine or newspaper 
categorized by the subject. You know, when you talk of a classified as, that's the kind of a class or a, a category of advertisements. Commercial is paid advertisement on radio or television, okay? Radio or television, you call them TV or radio commercials. Then coupon is part of a printed advertisement used for ordering goods, samples, etc. Then double page spread refers to advertisement printed across two pages in a magazine or newspaper. So when talking about advertising, I mean advertisement or advertising, then you can talk about uh, print media uh, advertising and electronic media advertising. Okay. Number 12, eye catcher is something that uh, especially attracts one's attention. Uh, the, the adjective form is eye catching. When you describe something as eye catching, it means it is attention grabbing. Then features refer to the special characteristics of a product, usually leading to certain benefits, you know. When you look at the features of a particular product, from there you can talk about the benefit, what someone can benefit, you know, by using such a product based on its features. Then hoarding refers to UK, while um, billboard refers to uh, US. So this is a signboard usually outdoors for advertising posters. The U.S. Uh, uh, call it billboard. In U.K., it is hardened. Then poster refers to a large sheet of paper, usually illustrated, used as advertisement. Prime time refers to hours on radio and television with largest audience, especially the evening hours. To promote is to try to increase sales of a product by publicizing and advertising it. So when you are advertising a product, you are promoting it. When you are presenting the product, telling people about it and persuading them to buy, then you are promoting it. Now, the word slot refers to uh, a specific time in a broadcasting schedule when a commercial may be shown. When you want uh, to advertise something on radio or television, you buy slots, you know. Then target refers to the objective, uh, the objective, that is what one is aiming at. And when you talk of a target audience, you are talking of the audience that you aim at reaching. Then the last USP refers to unique selling proposition. And that is what makes a product different from others. These are some of the words uh, associated with advertising. Now let's uh, look at a particular passage on advertising and then test our knowledge of advertising by choosing the appropriate words to fill in the gaps. Now in the following passage, the numbered gaps indicate missing words Against each number in the list below the passage, four options are given in the columns lettered A to D. For each question, choose the word that is most suitable to fill the numbered gap in the passage. Uh, you know, questions like this usually occur in the West African Senior School Certificate Examination or other Senior School Certificate Examinations. You can also find it in other English exams, testing your knowledge of vocabulary, okay? So let's go through the, the passage. And as we come to a blank space, then we go to the table that indicates the options. Advertising is a form of selling. Messages from manufacturers and dash reach the dash through the media. 
okay messages from manufacturers and and what let's look at the table we are looking at number one manufacturers and advertisers solicitors you know uh, unionists or directors of course we are talking of advertisers okay and then the message reach which people speculators crowd audience or customers of course the customers okay okay so let's go back and continue the most important media include newspapers magazines television radio direct mail billboard signs window displays in stores and poster posters or stickers on cars the greatest single advertising dash are the media dash we are looking for three and four advertising uh, dash and media dash so let's go and look at uh, numbers three and four advertising groups agents waiters or association of course advertising agents okay when you are talking about advertising, it is about advertising agents. That's the correct, uh, okay, advertising agents. We had earlier seen that the first one is advertisers and uh, the second one, customers. Here we have advertising agents, you know. Uh, then number four, halls, stores, houses platforms do you talk of media halls or media stores or media houses of course media houses okay that's exactly the way it is media houses okay so let's go back to let's go back to the passage the second paragraph okay the media houses, of course, you can see the exact word we chose used here to talk about media. The media houses employ dash. And so we are going to look at five. Okay, what type of people do media houses employ? A, journalists, B, underwriters, C, preachers, D, administrators, of course, Media houses employ journalists. That's who they employ. Okay, so let's go back again to the passage. Then next, a full page dash in newspaper may cost as much as 80,000 Naira. In a newspaper, you talk about space. Okay, you talk about space. It costs more in magazines, so we are going to cross check number six. This is because the dash of a magazine is wider. The dash, that should be the circulation. You know, the number of uh, this and all that. So let's check number six and seven. So six. Okay, well, the option here, space is not mentioned, but advertisement is mentioned. Okay, uh, A, program, B, advertisement, C, show, D, acting. Actually, you buy space in a newspaper or magazine, but when you uh, buy a space to advertise on it, then it is called advertisement. Then seven, you know, what costs more is this A, carrying, B, transportation, C, circulation, and D, movement. Of course, the correct option is circulation. So here, number six is advertisement. Number seven is circulation. So let's now go back to the passage.
Television dash and radio advertisement belong to the electronic media advertising and can be very effective, especially in places where people have not developed a reading attitude. Television what? So we are going to look for it. So let's look for number eight. Number eight, television, A, commercials, B, sayings, C, warnings, and D, stories. Uh, of course, we talk about commercials, television and radio commercials. Advertisements on television or radio uh, is called commercials. Okay, let's continue. Firms, establishment, and persons who wish to dash in the newspaper or magazine, that is print media, buy dash they want. Who want to do what? Nine. A, proclaim. B, preach. C, shout. D, advertise. Who want to advertise? Who wish to advertise in newspaper? They buy dash. What do they buy? Uh, Ten, gap. Uh, 10A gap, B line, C pain, D space. As I earlier mentioned, you buy space in a newspaper or magazine. On radio and television, you buy time, which we can call slots, okay? If they do not have an advert copy, Dash can write one for them. Who writes advert coffee? We, we find out in 11. Uh, can write one for them for a dash. The money they charge, what is it called? 11, a helper. Uh, 11, a, a helper. B, a secretary. C, a copywriter. And D, an usher. Yes, it is a copywriter who writes uh, an advert copy. And then uh, a copywriter charges what? A price, B fee, C fee, and D type. Fee. All right. So that really brings us to the end of today's lesson. We have been looking at words associated with advertising. I hope you enjoyed the class. If you did, make sure you like the video and share it with your friends and relations. See you in the next class. Many thanks for watching today's video. A big thank you to all of you out there for being part of today's episode. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, kindly subscribe to this channel. Subscribe now as a way of giving us support about new videos click on the bell icon you will find the bell icon click on it so that whenever a new video is uploaded you will be instantly notified if you have actually enjoyed the video like and share the video with your friends and relatives this is very important if you have any comments leave your comments below any questions any suggestions we would gladly receive them and respond promptly and positively to them see you in the next video i look forward to always see you in the new video